Hey viewers, something I get asked occasionally is how to uh, make a free wheel louder. Uh, they want that tick, tick, tick noise associated with a free wheel. Now this free wheel here is brand new and as I turn it, it's actually very quiet. Um, that's because there's nice and fresh, good lubrication inside the free wheel here. Uh, the, the loud noise is, tends to come from free wheels that are lacking lubrication or have a very thin lubrication. Now the problem with that is that the free wheels will tend to uh, wear out faster than having a good lubrication in there. So if you're ready to sacrifice uh, the longevity of a free wheel for a louder noise, I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we want to do is flush out all the lubrication that's in there currently. Now as I spin the free wheel here, you can see this part in here does not turn, but this part out here does. So this little seam in there is where we want to uh, spray some solvent. And I'm going to use uh, WD-40, which is basically a solvent with a little bit of oil in there. And so I'm just going to spray this in here and work this through, and this will dissolve the grease that's in there and I'm just going to keep flushing this through there until it flushes out all the lubrication in there. You see here it starts to get louder right now as the lubrication is flushed out, the thicker grease that's in there. Okay, so using the WD-40, I flushed out most or all the lubricant that was in there, and so now it's much louder than it was before. You're getting that clicking noise. The problem is that there's little or no lubrication inside there. Now, you can ride this as is, and it would last probably quite a while. It would just wear out faster because there's no lubrication in there. Uh, but generally, like a freewheel, uh, when you're pedaling, the, the bearings uh, and the pawls are static in there. They're not moving. It's only when you go to coast uh, and freewheel that now those bearings start rolling and the pawls start clicking over the teeth in there. They're not under the amount of stress that like the hub, uh, the axle bearings are. Uh, so fortunately, you know, they're not going to self-destruct, you know, real quickly by not having lubricant. Uh, and the WD-40 does not count as a good lubricant because it's basically an, a uh, solvent with a little bit of oil in it. Uh, now normally when I uh, lubricate a uh, freewheel, I use like filtinaceous oil, which is like a thick, sticky oil and it gets in there. But in this case, it's going to quiet the paws down. You're not going to get that clicking noise as loud. Um, but you probably want to get some lubricant in there. So what you might try is something like maybe like a, uh, a wet uh, chain lube, like a synthetic chain lube, like finish line here. Um, and that will give some lubricant in there. Or you might try something like Tri-Flow, uh, which is going to be a, a like thinner. You're probably going to still get the ratching noise in there. It's just going to be, uh, but you're still going to add some lubricant. So what I'm going to do is the same way as I did with the WD-40, I'm going to spray into this little seam here, like that, and then start working the lubricant down through the mechanism. Now normally, um, I uh, judge how much oil I'm getting down through there by the quieting of the uh, pawls in there. They get quieter as the lubricant gets down in there. But in this case, I'm not going to have that. So I'm going to kind of want to look to see when the, uh, the oil, uh, the triflow starts coming out through the, 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 the uh, bottom seam down here. So after I'm pretty sure that I've gotten lubricant all the way through the mechanism. Then I can dry off all the excess uh, oil and lubricant off of the, the uh, unit. Now with the thinner oil, like I said, it's just not going to, uh, the, the unit's going to wear out faster than if, if, if you used a, a good lubricant, but you are going to get that louder ratcheting noise uh, that you were looking for. Anyway, hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed by my channel, click the little icon over there and you can subscribe to see videos that come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page. And I have my videos categorized. I have forums. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching.